Hello Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. I am, I'm sitting here presently playing Car 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 Carcassonne with a bunch of buddies from the East, but I wanted to sit there and I wanted to actually uh, do a little review here because I said I kind of wanted to check this out. So, Empty Glass, Homebrew. Yes, this 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 I've had, so I, I'm going to be doing a review anyways. So what I've got here is from Beer Machine Brewing out of Nanus Bay. It's a home brewery that uh, one of my good friends uh, owns, and um, he sent me this as well as one of a great big honking huge beer. And I have to say... Thank you. So much thank you. This thing comes in at a strong 9.5% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs, and it's a Gong Show Belgian Dark Strong. And it's a big Belgian Dark Strong. Warm up your winter with this tasty Belgian brew. Sweet notes of candy, leather, raisin, dried figs, and plum. Yum. And I have to admit, I've actually sat there and I had a bunch of this while I was cooking and I should have probably done this. So let's uh, get this son of a bitch poured and go from there. All right so we've got this big ass beautiful beer. It's uh Nice and dark, and you got one finger worth of head, and um, yeah, we've definitely got some, <laughs> and we've got something really nice looking at notes here, like it's nice and dark, it is a dark Belgian. The noses that I'm getting off of here is absolutely amazing. So I've got this beautiful note of fig, raisin, and I've got this wonderful, wonderful note of just those Belgian yeast spices. Something that I really, really, really enjoy. Like I love my Belgian beers and this smells absolutely amazing. Now I know he told me a bunch of stuff that came with it, but I've got, I'm recording on my phone so I really can't do that. Anyways, so the smell, like I said, it's got a lot of fig, Belgian yeast, absolutely amazing stuff. The taste, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. So you do have that fig, you do have that raisin, you do have that plum, you have those beautiful candy notes on there plus the Belgian spices that's in it like as I told them earlier it tastes like a beautiful Belgian beer in the way of a nice quad now I want to say it's a quad but I know it's not actually a quad but it really does taste like something that you could have as a quad so this is absolutely phenomenal in the way of the taste is. Uh, the carbonation is perfect on this. I like my Belgian beers with a little less, a little less carbonation, but the taste on the tongue gives you that little bit of a effervescent taste, I guess I could say, or the little bubbles that dance in your tongue. It's kind of nice. The 9.5 is very well masked. You can have a lot of this and then realize you've had a 9.5% beer and go, oh, wait, I'm feeling this a lot. So folks, I'm gonna say not a lot of people have had this. In fact, there's only been four check-ins on this because it's a homebrew. There'll be five in a second, but this is actually a phenomenal beer. Well worth him sending it out. Thank you so much for sending it out. It was just phenomenally amazing to have, and I would not change this anyway whatsoever. I like my big, strong, heavy alcohol beers. 
the Ger the Belgian strong. This this is this is getting close to as I said a quad slash Trappist. Something I would have on a constant basis and drink like there's no tomorrow. Till next time, folks. I am PK. Got to get back to the game. Got to bitch these guys out because they've been yapping in my ear saying that I've been doing this. So I will talk to you later. Thanks again for joining. Have you guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night. And until next time, cheers.